Hello and welcome Cosmic Quantum Travelers. I hope I got this right now because I recorded this already and I didn't record it. So I'm doing it again. Um, I hope you're all doing well. I know it's very intense. Um, we have a lot of solar activity going on. Um, KP5, KP6, geomagnetic storms for like two days now and very strong solar winds and proton electron storms and a lot of solar flares as well, the perfect cosmic weather to finish the job we came here for, and that's exactly what's happening. So what I see at the moment is literally explosions in the field of the false matrix, um, matrices. And it's very much connected to the title of the divine masculine rising. So the huge activations happening, especially for the masculine collective, and um, it's causing a quantum collapse of all these false overlays, which are connected to the mind control structures and programming that's been shifted leaders right now, also connected to the activation and union of the planetary rot and staff. And I mentioned this in the last video, the rot is the horizontal, um, architecture in your field connected to your Merkaba, but interlocks and the staff is the feminine um, horizontal um, vertical principle. Okay, and they're now interlocking because before the Merkaba, because the staff was tilted, the same as the axial tilt of the earth, unnaturally, and that has been correct. Now the rot is locking in, and now together they can run the Merkaba in their fields and we can ascend to the higher dimensions. Okay, so amazing news what's happening right now. I know it's tough. All the solar energy can bring up a lot of tension and anything that's unresolved, it's huge purification as well as, this, as it is expansion and also helping us activate our DNA. So it's, um, yeah, all of these things. So basically what I can see is that the, the masculine rising is very much connected to the rot um, instruction sets for the activating now. And that's also clearing the grids then of any um, remaining interference pattern, inverted beliefs, perceived limitations, false perceptions, so along with any attachments, cords, hooks. I'm also seeing especially like tentacles, octopus-like uh, entities the kind of are uh, with tentacles within people's fields, especially the masculine being taken out, uh, parasitic entities, demon seeds, not a fallen entities and beings. And again, this is happening planetary wide. Okay, the masculine holds the mental body um, and very much connected to a planetary brain. Okay, so that is a principle that's clearing right now. All right, because negative entities and archons and all of that stuff is ultimately a manifestation of the collective shadow body of these distorted thought forms. So as we get rid of that distorted layer of consciousness that hangs like a soup of, you know, energy um, with no consciousness field, this is basically clearing and these false light matrices are quantum collapsing because as I've shared before, 90, 95% of the material, spiritual information has been compromised. Same as the spiritual leadership. So, and it's the same within the religions. It's all a reflection of one another. So there's a huge collapse happening right now. And I know it can be disconcerting, but it's just part of the false light matrices falling. And especially the masculine who's been connected to that. So even those who might have, and again, the masculine within us all, okay, and it's not just about gender at all, but it just affects that gender often more, the male gender. I have very much been connected to false light majors, and it's what has been holding it up. And I was shown one and a half years ago that they are the ones who are fully collapsing that from the other side, because it's like the masculine and the feminine need to collapse the timelines in a zero point field. And that is only happening through the realization of what is obviously false light. Okay, that's part of the dark arts training, and we need to see through it in order to transcend the matrix. Okay, so that's what's happening right now. It's happening within the field, in a planetary field. It's happening within, especially the mental body of the planetary body, and within our fields. Okay, and 
it, it's also clear in the whole astral level and astral field because this is very much also connected to the people we've been connected to or maybe the teachings and these kind of beings or false light matrices um because for example people who've you know, seen through some of the false light that's out there in the general spiritual community might have found found a new set of teachings, thinking they found the real thing, just to fall for another light, false light matrix, um, as I see it. So really, for me, the only way through is your direct connection to source, okay? You trusting your own inner knowing, above all else, sure, review information as you see fit, but hold on to it lightly and what do you think is real, true and not, okay? That's all very malleable, especially right now. And the true truth just hasn't been available so far because we haven't had the access, quite frankly. And it's all returning and it's all igniting from within us now, okay? So um, so the masculine is basically liberating himself and with that all of creation because he's also representing the meta forms because thoughts create meta. It's also the masculine is the matter, the feminine is the antimatter, and that's all merging. So it's this whole energy right now of death and rebirth. And it's happening simultaneously, the dissolution of the old and the creation of the new. And what's really coming up big, uh, especially today on Sunday, was the um, worth coming up, okay? And especially for the masculine of not feeling worthy. And I think there's just many different layers to it. And again, all of this exists on both sides, masculine and feminine, but there are just certain things that are more strongly, you know, showing up in the male gender. And as I've said in my last video as well, I need to just reclaim a whole, whole lot more of that quantum, their multidimensional self and keys and codes, more so than us in a feminine body often. And also they've been more influenced by the mind control because they've been more mind led. Okay, women often we've been more accustomed to following our intuition, our guidance, our emotions, our heart. But obviously, we bring this in unison into a higher heart mind connection. And it's so much connected to worth, the abundance as well, and the whole, you know, what we're working on. I mean, we know it's all about loving ourselves as we are now. And obviously, the old forms of how worth has been measured is what we're transcending here. So it's not about what we possess, how much money we earn, what we have to show for, even if we are successful in the spiritual business we're doing and um, are doing nothing at all, okay? As in earning a living money, you know, all these programs, because we're also transcending them here and the worth is our spiritual worth because what we're accessing now, all this material stuff doesn't matter. And it's all about your spiritual worth how much have you healed yourself um it's about the person you are the frequency you carry okay that's what it's all about and it's about us believing in our gifts and our ability and our power that's us reclaiming our worth because we are here to manifest new earth and we hold this in our bodies that's why we had to do all this work and transcend all these programs because it's all been upside down and inverted and us claiming our worth of that's what we're here for creating new earth that's us activating the power within us of activating new earth if that makes sense so the reclaiming of us realizing the world is activating our field and our abilities and our dna as i have been saying many times before it's all about us believing ourselves gifts abilities knowing intuition okay and what we're getting and nothing much as, as it seems so transcending the illusion that's the job that's the worth okay the inner work and we also should not be afraid of feeling uncomfortable going through the clearings i mean you know some of us at the moment have gone through it and feel we are holding the zero point field to allow for this greater collective feeling for more to arrive at this place where you just do not judge anymore either, whether you're going through clearing or whether you're feeling good. I might not be feeling good tomorrow, but I don't. I'm, I'm not afraid of it. I'm not judging it. It's not fun when you go through it, but you've been there a million times before, so you just kind of deal with it. 
And that's where you need to get to because also being afraid or resisting something is making it more painful or it goes on for longer or you're also manifesting it because it's the fear is a very powerful manifestation tool. So this is basically all also um, powerfully clearing the astral layers and levels in the etheric. So all these bindings and contracts and cords and hooks to old relationships and um, beings and the matrices, it's all clear, okay? It's literally just dissolving now in this field. And that's for a few days now, but it's like every day, it's just getting more and more powerful. And um, it's just literally quantum collapsing everything super extra fast right now. So even if you think you're going for something again and you thought you already handled that, okay, and you're just going deeper, just trust. This can go very quickly now. Just know it for what it is and don't believe it. Don't believe the thoughts that are coming up. That's you dissolving them. Don't identify with it. These are just programs dissolving. As something clears, it comes up. It's like sometimes when we feel ah, all elevated and a new you know frequency um, that we're hitting and we feel great, and then it's like afterwards, because then you contract again and you clear everything that's not of that frequency. So just know when you're going through clearing that that's what's happening. Don't resist it. Don't identify with it. Know it for what it is. Try not to change it. Just do your thing that you can do to move through it as quickly as you can, as in, you know, salt baths and nature and all of that good stuff, okay? Especially now, relaxing, nurturing yourself through this and clearing your field and all of that stuff. That's what's going to help you through it, okay? To use the tools. And basically, the clearing of the masculine consciousness layers and blueprints is collapsing the false matrix. Because again, thoughts create matter. All the inverted thought forms is what the matrix is built upon. So that's what we've been waiting for. Thank you so much for everyone doing the hard work and allowing this to happen. And running these activations. And um, it's basically a massive victory. I'm also seeing just another, we could just be constantly celebrating these last few months. And um, the lying gate is also activated. This has very much to do with the 12 and 13 D grid activations. And it's all interconnected. And the masculine rod repair is clearing basically the metatronic reversals that are also connected to a flower of life configuration. So just kind of the old bipolar, the bi-wave pattern of the old grid system. And they're being corrected to the crystal lotus pattern, which is basically the tri-wave. And that's what I've been seeing, especially within the, crisp, within the masculine light body activating um, today and clearing out any of these remaining reversals. And that's also connected to the um, Mary Michael uh, turnstile matrix that's fully collapsing and clearing out, which has been running a lot of these reversals, although we've been already dissolving this, but this is now full collapse and it's been cleared out so that's absolutely massive because it's been running a lot of the uh, reversals which are also part of the gender splitting technology and they have actually prevented the hierogamic unions from happening um, because they create distortions between the gender and hate between the gender and all these distortions energetic interference basically and within the thought forms because you're constant, constantly being messed with. And the mask can just have more to deal with that because they're being more mind-focused um, and mind-driven. And that's what really needs to shift now is that we all are more heart-centered, heart-driven, but it's really a unification between the heart and the mind um, because it's a higher heart-mind connection. They're supposed to agree, but there is a quantum intelligence that the heart has and the mind is a receiver and transmitter rather than trying to figure out all the problems, okay? So we need to shift from kind of mind-based decision-making to more heart-based and bring this all into unison so you don't have to split anymore. What's your right and left brain? Yeah, masculine, feminine, heart, mind, all of this. Um, it's all interrelated, micro, macro. So these metatronic reverses have been cleared. It's also part of the activation of the horizontal grids um, that I see happening. So I really see the horizontal grid line fully lighting up along with the staff. So it really happened today that the staff and the lot are fully now locked in, functioning, 
joined in union at the planetary level, which is fully healing the planetary macabre and in our fields now as well. Okay, so we are ready for the full ascent. Um, and that's what I wanted to come back just to the electrical Christ mail pattern that I mentioned yesterday, and I didn't quite explain it so good now. I don't want to cause more confusion, but it's just relevant to this. And I'm going to leave a link below as well, just to have more precise language to transmit this. And again, this is from Ascension Glossary. Again, take what resonates, leave the rest. There's a reason why I'm guided to share this forever, what it's worth. So the 1212 electrical Christ male pattern is the organic horizontal male Christ electrical rod architecture that allows a mathematical merge with the vertical female Christ magnetic staff to actually occur. To speak the words as Logos, Christos Sophia, as the Holy Son and Daughter are unified in eternal co-occurrence of love from the eye of God and bond in hierogamic union of the inner rod and inner staff. The spiritual marriage mathematical pattern of 1313 female spin and 1212 male spin on top of all the exciting developments of God's consciousness technology returning back to our planet through our mother arc herself. We are getting ready to understand the unity architecture in its trinity wave patterns and its direct relationship to manifesting true spiritual marriage on the planet. As mother brings back the crystal star frequencies, the seven sacred suns, it is bringing the template of sacred spiritual union between the rod and star functions of our light body macabre field. It is a spiritual mission of recently assigned rod and staff couplings to template a prototype blueprint to achieve spiritual marriage or heroes gamos and work to bring this into a physical manifested accomplishment. This is happening at various octave levels, relationship assignments, soul, monad, and avatar crystal sophia and dimensional levels to eventually achieve a complete re-encryption of the masculine rod function to the spinning 12-12 electron pattern that merges perfectly into the female monadic core 13-13 uh, field. This is a template prototype of the called, that is called the Christ, Christ Halla or the Christala pattern, which is the crystal gene and gender merge between genetic equals. Okay, so this is what the twins are here to do. And this is what's possible now. That's what's happening at planetary level. And this might also be already going on in your field. However, you might be connected to that. Okay, but this is anchored and then it goes out. So that's how our mm -hmm. Macaba light bodies um, fully repair. The corrected mental body patterns rebuilt in each of these higher mind matrices is also leading to metatronic repair, which is a Nephilim 90 body correction. When these free harmonic triads are corrected throughout the horizontal triad bodies, the light body structure known as the masculine rod starts to initiate and activate in the light body. Um, also a little bit further, integrating the Solomon shield on our planet, which is also designed to support our males to the new consciousness and upgrades, the architecture of the horizontal grid and its rod function. The shield of Solomon was built from the house of David genetic line and is from the holy grail male bloodline that has the power to override the previously distorted collective masculine rod consciousness, the distorted male rod consciousness has been infected with patriarchal domination, stemming from the controller's mind control game of installing the false king of tyranny as the dominating rulers on his planet. So that's basically what's shifting, helping us shift the consciousness on the planet, okay, because that's what the masculine rod carries. And the uh, shield of Solomon is the star of David, okay, so it's basically Makaba. Um, symbol. The Solomon shield is a consciousness grid technology that is changing the planetary electron spin back to the organic 1212 electrical Christ cosmic crystal smile pattern. The 1212 only exists within that unity field architecture field and not within the reversal systems which still are running reversal electron spin rates based on the hijack code by the controllers. This is also the reason why energetic interference has been aggressive, aggressive for certain modern staff couples to prevent them from holding the unified field necessary to bring in the embodied unity source code architecture. So that's what the mask and feminine do. As you unify this at a higher light body level, that's also repairing the wings at a 670 level. 
Um, what I was also seeing is that this is also connected to clearing out the 90 Nephilim body. Which I, yeah, so I did read that out. Did I read that part out? That basically this is also helping with this metatronic repair. So the 90 body corrections. And I'm just going to show you uh, the visuals I didn't have the last, I have the last, I didn't have the last time, yeah. Uh, screen share. So this is basically the a Mary, Michael Mary Turnstile grid, or also the NEC grid. So you just see where it all goes along. And this is also connected to, and I'm going to share a couple of video links, which are connected from someone else. And are connected to the Swan grid and the Canadian grids and the, sorry, the Dove grid and the Canadian grids and then the Swan grid. And that's also connected with the Fertility Diamond grid activations okay and i leave these videos but i don't agree with all what's been said in there so just as always anything i share you know you have to make up your own mind and again information is constantly shifting and changing okay but it's the best information i can find on explaining the and showing the 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 the, the, the dove grid and the swan grid okay so that's all down. And then just to show you the tree of bodies and the tree of life. So this is the 12th tree, the and pointed tree of life, which I mentioned yesterday. And these are the tree of bodies for dimension one, two, and then three. But this is now also materializing or manifesting because this was pre meta Okay, so what we're connecting to now, what I'm seeing is, so this has all been locked in and now we're connecting all the way up. Also, um, because it's the 12th and 13th at the moment, because there would be a 13th signet here on some of them and I don't have a visual for this now, but you can imagine little uh, tiny, you know, um, line here and then another um, circle with a 13 on it, okay, which also represents the 13 gate and also the mother arc and connection to source as I see it. Now, this is also held in our light body and basically what we're activating now, so this is also where your third eye and crown kind of connect and this is also what these reversals have prevented our third eye and crown to merge which is also part of Ryogamic Union within your light body. And then your soul star is creating like a new crown. And that's what's happening right now. So it's really us connecting. It's also connected to the 11th and 12th Stargate. I'll just show you the Stargates, which is basically, so you have a micro macro. So you have this in your body, you have this in a planet. So this is this in a planet in a different Stargate. So 11th Stargate, uh, Whale of Pusley, which is Cornwall. And then it's Ireland's Eye, which is just north of, uh, Dublin and it's also connected to Stonehenge and then you have um, Kauai going into Mount Segur. that's a 12 stargate and then at the galactic level that would be the sun and Nibu and here you have Lyra Amaratina and um, basically so when we connect to the sun and then to Lyra you know what I mean and then from our planetary level it's all interconnected and micro macro if that makes sense so i just wanted to show you this so you can maybe um because i didn't i wasn't able to do this yesterday and because it ties in with what i am sharing today and this is how the tree of life this is our core blueprint architecture which we're fully activating now in our field that's what i'm seeing is happening right now okay and also at a stargate level because I saw these huge activations uh, in the Lion Stargate happening and we're getting ready for the full ignition. That's all I can see. And it's all locking in beautifully. Uh, just to show you one more time, one thing, this would be when you have the two on top of each other. So one would be, you know, also if you would think like your body on there and then you have the planetary body because they're interlinked. But then the planetary body is like, this way okay so here you have 
0.1 at the upper category level or tree of life level, but at here this one, it would be one here and the 12 there. Okay, but this is the upper one is one here and the 12 is there. Yeah, that makes sense. And they're connected to 13 cyclic. And we can't see here properly, and I can't make this big out more. So I hope this helps. I leave the links, you can see more. So this is really what's been preventing the merge and the hierogamic units. And it's done. Okay. So let it integrate. Claim your wealth. So important right now, especially for the masculine. Re-establish your wealth. And it's all about your frequency, what you're here to bring. Okay. And that's literally anchoring light, clearing your field, all these distortions. Okay. And no longer falling for the traps, the mindsets, okay? Because it's really all about the masculine and the feminine unifying in divine union. And it's also happening in actual life now where we come together because it's the healing of the, the core monad. It's us coming together with our soul family. And that's us returning home also because... We carry keys for one another. We really help us activate and heal each other's field. And um, it's the recognition. It's being seen for who we really are and really that deep love we have for one another. Okay. Once we have transcended all the nonsense that's keeping us from that feeling of oneness and in unity. So at the moment, it's just let it all go. Know it for what it is. Try not to judge it. Try not to resist it. Don't identify with it. It's about merging the source, becoming formless, becoming boundless, limitless, fearless, okay? And that dissolves all these false evidence appearing real, aka fear programming. That's what the old matrix is built up upon. And that's what's totally dissolved right now. So gone. And again, the masculine represents the mental body, the mind, and the meta world, and the feminine, you know, and the conscious, and the feminine, the um, antimatter, the unconscious, and the emotional body. Okay, so that's why it's very much all connected with these principles. Okay, that we're unifying um, within ourselves in divine union, and that's what's happening now. So really, the divine masculine rising right now in his full power is what dissolves the old and fully ignites all new now because he's here to create, okay? He's here to literally understand and remember his wealth of creating and igniting new earth now from within. And it's not free old means of trying to make it happen in that way. It's by him really digging into his divine feminine and retrieving the codes from within. It doesn't mean that we don't do anything, but the higher consciousness we have, the less we need to do. And it's really about an activating and remembering of bringing these new realities online more so than anything else. Okay. But of course, always listen to your guidance of what and when to do, when to be. But there's a lot of surrendering and merging with source and all that is right now. And when you still identify with your ego and your false self and any kind of sense of false security and safety it just doesn't um yeah it just doesn't really do much five 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 so i was I'm, I'm constantly thinking because i've already recorded this of what i said in the other video or not and what i've said in here i don't want to repeat myself so if i do <laughs> oh my god um because everything we see in our realities is a projection of our minds so the heart and the mind are what uh ultimately you know it's not just our mind is also connected with our emotions but that's the thing so you know when we have powerful emotions are also powerful motivators and obviously we've been you know testing um these and how do we you know best manifest and yes a lot of this is right now being the old realities collapse in a zero point field of neutrality so where you no longer um triggered by the old realities you see through them and then it can just collapse it's the whole false light matrix for a long time it was really a thorn in my eye lately i just don't care anymore because i know it's collapsing and now it's just all bush bang <laughs> so it's great but you know as you withdraw your focus 
things can, can just collapse if we're waiting there for something to happen it's like we're preventing it from happening because we're too focused on it and it's like you know we kind of need to let go for it to manifest and become you know or dissolve depending on what so it's all a projection and it's all these false projection that have caused a false matrix because false perceptions projections equal the false holographic inserts on um it at the simulation level so as we shift the way we look at things and how we perceive reality reality shifts okay and again the masculine has a big role here to play and they really it's all about them fully rising now and together with the feminine within themselves and then also in whichever way it comes up because we are about it is about the you know part of the christos mission that wrote about this as part of another post that we shared is the reclamation of stargates our blueprints but also to heal the tribes to bring the tribe back together okay the 12 tribes and it's also connected to the 12 dna strands it's connected to the 12 stargates okay and the 12 tree grid of life that's us reassembling it it's by us coming back together and finding one another because that's healing the core monad and it's healing the planetary shield the tribal shield it's healing the families and at the core is the holy family but we're all part of that. So anything in our life is this, okay? But it really is about us, you know, we create a unity grid and we have been working through a lot of karmic storylines in place with kind of not the wrong people. Obviously it was all perfect, but you get me, it's, it wasn't our soul family a lot of the time. So we haven't felt that resonance. We haven't felt at home. We feel like we don't fit in and all of that because we haven't been a soul family, okay? And this is now the time when we come together and we heal this because this is how also the morphogenetic field heals. Because again, these are the 12 strands DNA. This is the morphogenetic blueprint. It's all connected with the sphere of Amenti, the tribal shield, and the plasma buffer shield that's taking over the magnetosphere that's basically cracking and um, falling apart at the seams. And it's also all connected with the pole shift. Okay, now the us all shifting from mind-based thinking which creates realities that are not based in love and compassion and are just disconnected from the heart and make it a for all of us to let the feminine lead the heart lead in unison with the mind but you get me it needs to be a heart-based society that's the unity consciousness okay and it's the mind and the heart and the heart and the mind but that's what we're here to do with our own fields with our own consciousness and it happens at light body level and then it happens at planetary level and with the consciousness level and we hold the higher quantum of the consciousness so what we do is important never mind the collective they catch on as enough of us feed these new the new consciousness and obviously we're anchoring this literally and collectively into the field and through the stargates it's the higher consciousness just flooding through us now and basically only the truth will remain all the falsities just let them go it's all illusions delusions and as you let them go the holographic overlays dissolve okay um so this is really what's collapsing the old false worlds and the news being reborn simultaneously right now through us. And all of these old structures are held with our bodies. That's why this is also painful. <laughs> okay. So know that that's why it can feel really intense. Just try and relax into it as much as possible. And the lack and scarcity we see in our realities is a direct reflection of all these programs and thought forms and limiting beliefs in versions within the consciousness that tell us we're not enough. And we need to have things to, in order to feel worthy, which is absolute nonsense. So if we find ourselves still thinking this and having worthlessness come up because we don't have God knows what or anything to show for, know that you need to transcend that program. Stop feeding into it. It's an immersion. It's supposed to, because this is why we see what we're seeing playing out. It's so that we can correct the programming and project abundance because it's all interconnected. Freedom, abundance, it's all projected out from within our consciousness. As we shift our core beliefs, our reality shift. So once we know our worth, we believe we can create and activate new earth. It's us reclaiming the matrix. 
which we already have at higher level, but it's like sickering through it, like uh, sinking down, you know, coming through. And as our higher self fully takes over now, and we're remembering more and more, and it's us remembering that we hold the codes, and it's us remembering that we have these gifts and abilities and how to use them. And the more frequency we hold, the more power we have. But we need to believe in the gifts and abilities and that we can do that and claim that worth. That's what activates it all. Okay? And just know as it's coming up, it's just clearing. Literally. You know, often when we... I don't know if I already said this. <laughs> go up in frequency, you know, and then afterwards there's a big compression. It's just clearing. Just know it for what it is. Okay? Don't identify with it. Don't think it's getting worse okay and this can go very quickly right now it's really we've been through this many times it's just let it go okay it's very much collective it's not about you one moment we might feel good the next not don't hold on en to anything especially at the moment it's very up and down i can feel both and um, i'm just holding the zero point right now and um but you know I i've had a very intense two weeks and for many many years so it's just part of the process and it needs to clear from your field. So I talk about collectively what's coming in now, but we also need to do the work separately. This doesn't just happen by nothing. We still need to, you know, be willing to shift our perceptions and let go of the old stuff and the false uh, sense of safety. It's all an illusion. I had to let this go so many times and it's all about trusting every step of the way. That's how you quantum leap. And I don't think I said this in this one, but, you know, one of the biggest quantum leaps I ever had to do was, by two of them, <clears throat> in the summer of 2018. First was leaving my home at a time that I shared with the father of my daughter. <clears throat> and, you know, just make that decision. I didn't have any money. I had, well, I had 70 euros, no income, uh, only the sofa of a friend to go to, didn't know what was next, literally. And I just managed from one moment to the next. It was the hardest thing I ever had to do. And, you know, for whatever it's worth, it was, you know, what I had to do at the time. But it has taught me so much of this false sense of security where once you trust your intuition and your guidance, you will be carried. Okay, it doesn't mean that you don't have anything to do, but you just need to trust because it's a core belief that enables the opportunities and the abundance and whatever you need in the moment to come through in whichever way it comes through. You don't get to choose really how, but um, you will always be provided for if that's a deep inner belief that you carry. And I've seen it again and again. And I'm still here four years later, ultimately, still being asked to do the same thing because it's just part of my path of trusting that. And that's how I transcend any fears around money and security although it doesn't look the way I want it. But again, the way the situation is here, even if I have a normal full paying job, it's still very hard to find anything to rent. That's how bad it is here. So anyway, so <clears throat> that's what we here to shift because this is obviously, you know, we are not having a dark winter in front of us. We're shifting this right now, okay? We need to rise now together and reclaim our power, our worth, and it's all interconnected. That's reclaiming our freedom. That's reclaiming our abundance to claiming our realities because we hold them in our dna now we need to understand that worth. we need to access it claim it it's a shift in frequency and rise together as one open heart and mind got our wits about us but there's nothing to be afraid of or prevent or protect ourselves from as such okay we've learned we know boundaries who to trust or not to trust and even if we make a mistake then we learn again all right so, and every time you make these quantum jumps and believe that you're carried and you are, put, you know, supported, as long as you follow your guidance, <clears throat> you will be carried. I had a month later that year, I went to Canada for like a two-day retreat, literally insane, instead of taking that money and renting a room, although I didn't have any income. But anyway, I was just really guided. I need to go there. I was supposed to go back on a plane a few days later, and then I decided to stay there. And I stayed another four weeks. Again, the hardest decision, second after the first one of, you know, um, not living with my daughter and having to make that decision 
was to stay away for like a month not seeing her and um, not knowing how I would get back because I didn't have enough money even to stay much longer. But I took it from one moment to the next, one day at a time, and I was always provided for, I was always carried, I was always supported, and that such big quantum leaps, okay, and I understand now what I did the work then, there, because of what's happening now as well, of the grids, and, <clears throat> but ultimately, <clears throat> it's all happening in our own field, and it's, when you trust and you see it, you just know, you know, you, and you're not afraid anymore. You, you're not, you just know that if you follow your mission and your calling and your intuition, you will always be carried and provided for. And abundance comes in many different ways because we need to get away from thinking, oh, if I do this, this is when I'm safe because that doesn't work anymore. I think we notice this by now. <laughs> okay, there is no real safety here. The safety comes from you knowing you're connected to source directly. And you always carry it as long as you listen to your own inner guidance and just yours. Okay. And it's the only way to navigate the space now because there's not one book that you can take and know what to do in any one moment. Uh, right, wrong changes in every, you know, moment because there's so many different layers of truth and realities and dimensions and timelines all merging into one soup where before it was just 3D, right, wrong, good, bad. No, 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 that goes out the window, okay? As you, your multidimensional self needs to know what to do in which now moment, and it's not one answer that fits each situation. So you need to figure that out for your whole guidance system, all right? That's integrated as one. So just basically quantumly, fully trust and believe in you you're always supported especially now which is claiming the abundance from within from our sacred crystal hearts we have diamond minds inside of us we are diamonds they are created under great pressure and we are sparkling trust that even if you think like everything is falling apart or you're falling apart it's just part of the transformation that's when the real magic happens okay try not to judge it try not to resist anything or Cling on to the good, okay? Just let it flow through you. That's the best way you can navigate through all of this. And whatever needs to happen always happens. It's just up to you to transcend all the remaining negative programming, limiting programming that's preventing you to live the life that you're here to do, to follow your mission. Because when we align with our mission and our purpose and our true self, everything aligns for us. It really does, especially now with all the interference crap being fully removed. Okay, this is now fun time, but we need to transcend those cages we put ourselves in. It's literally all made up in our minds, all of it. And we've created all of it, ultimately, as one mind. We need to transcend victim victimizer games and then versus us. There's no one more powerful than you once you've really claimed this and realized this. And we're reclaiming the realities now fully from deep, deep, deep within and make the magic happen. Okay. As one, unified within the oneness, that's the unity field, that's us all connected to claiming, believing in our gifts and abilities, believing is seeing, go for it. <clears throat> amazing victories, amazing few days on the grids, and it's just going to continue. It's going to be a really fun week. We have the 9-9 gateway as well, and just, I mean, again, no time. Anything is possible, any now moment we make the impossible possible and the invisible visible and that's the time for us now the divine timing has come for us to fully rise in our power in our gifts okay and it's really knowing remembering that we're here to create all new worlds and that's priceless okay so i think i said everything i wanted to actually recorded a little light language activation i'm going to post it as well as part of the other video to help the masculine healing and also the divine union. It's mainly just light language, but I hope it will support, even though my voice is a bit croaky again. And just remember, you know, it's all of, this is about us loving ourselves as we are. This is not about being perfect. It's about us having a pure heart and mind, but it's not like as if you're never angry or you never get something wrong or whatever. It's just that you don't let it, you know, get out of hand and you know how to be emotionally and mentally mature enough to rectify when something goes wrong and you don't beat yourself up, you don't let it get out of control and all of these things, okay? 
but there also needs to be this whole understanding between i think the worth part is also connected that the masculine is feeling uh down to the competition um between the masculine and the feminine and we just need to understand they're here first of all to unify both aspects within them so there's nothing missing and also to obviously reclaim what it actually means to be in a masculine or feminine body and to redefine that okay but there's no comparison ultimately but also here to be both so there's nothing missing ultimately okay but Again, that's very much the, the battle of the sexes, the competition. That's really where a lot of this comes down to. If the masculine sees themselves as less as the feminine, and then we have seen this in the broader collective playing out as then the masculine needs to overpower the feminine in a controlled, um, oppressive way. Okay, and that has happened within us and mind and heart and you know these principles so i hope this has helped if it does help um also i leave the details details beneath in the description box of the video for uh donation links if you are able to support me because i share everything freely and it does help me also as a way of energetic exchange even if it wouldn't have money to give something back if you do feel what I share does help you also listen to my videos listen to my SoundCloud recordings if that does help you it all really helps you um, purify clear heal balance harmonize and upgrade your whole morphogenetic fields and DNA it's all very much encoded with sacred keys and codes and the frequency that is being streamed through also that helps you sometimes it even helps you fall asleep it's not a bad thing I've heard that before it's a high frequency also um and just do your best navigating through this. Loads of spiritual hygiene, loads of loving self-care, salt baths, nature. Um, just try to keep coming back to your heart and let that lead and try to drop from the mental chatter. And, you know, that's where earthing really helps. It really helps also to earth you because of a way of feeling ungrounded is when our mind is going at 180 seconds so if you have that really earthing even just 10 minutes that means bare feet on earth grass sand whatever you know mother earth really really helpful it's also really really healing one of the best things we can do and just keep seeing for all the illusions in order to dissolve them all this false light nonsense know that your direct connection to sources within reclaim your own codes and peace and wisdom and remember it okay and that's you reclaiming your worth that's us reclaiming our abundance that's us reclaiming our freedom and our realities and that's what's happening right now within us but we're here to make it happen by remembering no more forgetting you're here to change worlds and create all new ones. Let them arise from within us right now, really powerfully, okay? The sun is helping us a lot in the geomagnetic uh, storms. Powerful time for grid work, massive activations happening. As I said, it's all getting ready. I'm seeing rotten staff uh, ready to spin and um, our Macabas are too. Stargates are ready. I mean, we'll see when the final fireworks happen. Um, I shared more on my last video. I love you and leave you. I think that's all. I had to um, travel on about. <laughs> I leave some of the links below. And just one more thing. So your true wealth is also about your true essence, okay? You're reclaiming your true self. And that ultimately will unlock your self-wealth. Because once you know your true self, you know your God, and you know you created all of this, so there's nothing separate from you. Everything is you. So it's literally a shift in perception, how we perceive reality. We are creating it, we are projecting it out, a big inner shift energetically. It's all happening, okay? Just keep on going. Thank you so much for hanging in there, keeping your true self at all times, and the rest will come by itself. When we align with our mission and our purpose 
everything aligns for us. And I don't know if I already said this, but you can also say that twice. So I love you. I leave you. Thank you so much. So many blessings. Bye-bye.